Who's singing this song right now? This is a part of me, Never Leave by Evan Safford. Okay, Google. As you can see, Spotify knows who I am. I'm EDM singer songwriter Evan Safford. And thank you so much for joining me tonight as we talk about one of our favorite subjects, money. If you're new to my channel, or if you're new to me, I'm, I'm a singer songwriter. Just last year, I was able to successfully campaign for my web series to be nominated for an Emmy. And I actually was able to make the web series with no budget and was able to get a cast and crew together and was actually able to make it so that the web series actually launched my music career. And from there, I was able to build a lot of interest into my music. But of course, just like everybody else in the free world, everything went to crap once the pandemic hit. I just really need some toilet paper right now. And now my industry is one of the most impacted industries out there. But with that said, Making money is really always going to be a mindset, right? If you believe that you're going to be broke or that you're not going to make any money, you're probably not going to make any money. So staying positive is really, really important when it comes to playing this game and having success in the long term. So, PM, yeah, it's none of my business why you want to make money after 10 p.m. But I'm going to say that I know that it's a real issue sometimes to have to make money after 10 p.m., you know? Especially, I've heard that us Americans, we have this instinct inside of us that makes it so that we always want to work. Like, we work to live. So, when we're not working and we're not being productive, sometimes we can feel really, really guilty. And, and I myself, I beat myself up about it all the time when I'm not working and not being productive. So, if you're having one of these nights and you just need to be productive and you want to figure out, you know, new ways to get your weight up, to, you know, build your chips, I got three ways and three websites that can make you feel you can start making money tonight. So, the first website is a website called Fiverr. So Fiverr, spelled F-I-V-E-R-R, -E is a website where people go to get gigs, uh, excuse me, gigs done for them. Gigs, excuse me, gigs. So like, um, for instance, last year when I was doing my web series, I needed somebody who could edit for me. So I went on Fiverr. I got someone to actually do the job for a really, really reasonable price. And then from there, I also needed help with editing, I'm, I'm sorry, mixing my song. And then even recently, I was even, um, I needed somebody to help me get hashtags for my Instagram. And I went to Fiverr. So if you have any type of skills like editing, um, social media marketing, even, um, even if you can hear and type at the very same time, you can use your transcription to actually just make money that way. People need you to hear their tapes and and just type what they're saying and then give it to them. You know, there really is a market for that. There really is a good way to really make some good money. Now, of course, since there are so many gigs on there that are available, the, the amount that you can charge is gonna vary based on your experience, of course. So it could be anywhere from like maybe $5 for a gig or maybe even going all the way up to, you know, three hundred, three thousand dollars It just depends on your experience and how much you want to ask for the service that you provide. I myself have never bought anything on Fiverr. I'm, I'm sorry. I've never sold anything on Fiverr, but I've bought tons of stuff. And any time that I need something done for me that, I, that like, I want to delegate, immediately I will go to Fiverr. So that's the site that you can check out tonight and start making money tonight just by posting the services that you offer. Bam. Now, number two way. So, this way is going to look different for some people versus other people. But, Airbnb. Now hear me out, I know what you're thinking, after the pandemic, Airbnb has basically become a freaking a graveyard for business owners who were successful, but then they put all their money into, you know, renting out places and then they didn't give them back their, you know, money that was like holding the like reservations. But either way, anyways, um, I've been able to use this whole strategy of Airbnb, but I've been able to do it in, in a different way so that I'm able to market to people who aren't necessarily who you would typically market to on Airbnb. So let me give you an example. So let's say that you are somebody who needs to rent a hotel room, right? And you don't have an idea or something. 
or let's say that you do have an ID, but you just maybe have really bad, you have a really bad reputation for pissing off the hotel owner, so nobody will give you a room. So that's where I come in, and that's where I offer my place. I offer, I have a spare bedroom, and and then I'll come to you and I'll say, hey, I'll give you my room for $150 a week. You know, um, you don't pay up front. Um, I have internet. You can come in, in and out as you please. I'm not going to be your mother. I'm not going to go over here all, you know, up your ass wondering, oh, what are you doing? You know what I mean? When you offer that to somebody, that's a huge thing. Because lots of times when you are someone who's needing a place to stay, it's hard to find a place where people aren't going to be up your ass all the time. Or making you feel like you're a child. Or making, or, or basically just making you feel like you are a bother to be there. Nobody wants to feel like they're a bother to be there. And that's where I was able to utilize my home as a way to make money by renting out my spare bedroom. And um, I've been able to do it so that by then renting out that spare room, it actually pays for my rent. Bam. And of course, there are going to be downsides to, you know, sharing your home with somebody. Of course, you know, um, do I have to, you know, kick out most of the people who rent for me? Yes, I do. It just kind of comes with the territory, you know? Some people are designed so that they always want to give you excuses until you finally have to tell them to hit the road, you know what I mean? And that's kind of the price that we pay as being people who rent out our home, who, who actually rent out our rooms. And for me, being able to have a place where I can have all my rent paid so that I can focus on more important things like my music, to me, it's worth the price of having to deal with somebody who might be a little bit, a little bit crazy, maybe. you know what I mean? I can deal with crazy people. If you guys don't know how to deal with yellow people, maybe I'll make a video on that. But um, it's a great way to make money. I one time had a guy who handed me, gave me three hundred dollars after twelve a.m. one time because he wanted to reserve the room for me or from me, and like he wanted to reserve it for a whole month. Three hundred dollars I made after twelve a.m. So anything is possible. Now, excuse me. The last way that you can make money after 10 p.m. This tip is going to be more towards my wannabe influencers and also for my fellow music artists out there or anybody who's really trying to get themselves and become something in like the field of like entertainment. So one way that you can start building up your clock tonight and making money basically tonight by getting your weight up, by getting your brand out there, is by using um, Instagram as a way to target your fans and of course build your base by reaching out to them and then just by just by simply having conversations so let me give you an example so if you're on Instagram and let's say that you're trying to sell uh, maybe you like sell secondhand shoes so if you would look up uh, on the hashtag for instance like um, I need shoes I'm in New Mexico and like that's the hashtag you look that up you're going to find people who are basically needing exactly what you offer. And when you like their picture or comment on their post, they're going to see that and they're going to be like, hmm, who is this person who was commenting on my post? They're going to look and they're going to see that it was fucking you. And they're going to be like, wait, hey, this person offers what I'm needing. Bam. Sell made. That really is an amazing way that any business owner right now can really target their um, potential customers, clients, is just by going through hashtag marketing and being able to find hashtags that relate to the people that, are, that they're trying to find and then bam, you can get instant customers, instant clients, instant money basically overnight by doing that. So don't underestimate the power of just being in, just by being in there and being around what people need you and being able to be um, a source of help for people in your specific field. Like, I know what you're thinking about me. Okay, okay, Evan, why are you trying to do how-to videos and, you know, giving people advice about money? Well, I figured that since I am, I'm really close to my big break happening as far as a big break in my music career so that I can actually get my music to the masses, I figured that I might as well pass along the knowledge that I've learned while hustling and trying to stay afloat this entire time. Because as most of you know, I've been going after my dream for a long time and I've been able to figure out I've been able to figure out every possible way to do it wrong. So now I'm learning, so, so now I know how to do it right. And, and because of that, I want to pass that information down to you guys to help you guys to hopefully achieve your guys' dreams faster and be able to have that best life possible that you've always wanted to have. 
I'm EDM singer songwriter Evan Sapper. I really appreciate you. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Evan Sapper, and you guys go out there and make a motherfucking miracle happen. Have a good night.